Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, everybody that's joining us from wherever you are across the country. I uh, just hope that you have your coffee ready because uh, we have another great session for you today with another fantastic insurance company. We have a full uh, host of wholesalers here ready to detail uh, some of the sweet spots that their products have uh, that can be a really good fit for your business. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our uh, to our host here, Yusudan. Ren, Yusa, Yusu, take it away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, today, um, it's really nice. We have the opportunity to invite two of our product managers uh, to present to everyone. Um, so first of all, my name is Yu Sudan. I'm the new wholesaler for IDC in Ontario, more specifically in the GTA area. Uh, all my friends call me Yusu, so please feel free to call me Yusu. Uh, my first guest today is Frank Lapierre. Um, Frank has his CFP and CLU designation. Um, Frank was first started his career in Sun Life in 2001 to 2012. Uh, and then he left us to become an estate insurance advisor with the five banks and uh, many other roles. And uh, luckily, uh, Frank was able to join us back. We stole him back in 2020. Um, and since then, since then, I've been bugging Frank all the time. Um, and he must think that I have dumb questions like <laughs> all the time. I said, I'm sorry in advance, Frank. Uh, but those are confusing for me, but easy for you. Uh, so it's a great honor to have you today um, to present uh, to IDC and to all of our advisors. Um, and I'll be monitoring the Q&A for you. Uh, so if anyone have any questions, please post them in the Q&A box. Normally is in the center below your screen. And I'll be monitoring that. And um, I'll, if the, any question, burning question you need me to ask, I'll make sure to save your questions and ask them to Frank. So um, turn the mic to you, Frank. All right. Thanks, Yusu. <clears throat> no, no, no dumb questions. I, uh, there, there are no stupid questions. I'm, that's my, that's my opinion. Uh, I, I've asked many myself that, uh, you know, it's always a, a pleasure to help anyone who's got a question. Um, so good day, everyone. I'm pleased to be here today with you to have the chance to share with you a presentation. I really hope you'll find valuable. Uh, as always, uh, the presentation that I'm going to start sharing my screen here, uh, the presentation uh, you're about to hear is intended for uh, information purposes only. Um, so for any cases you're working on, we always recommend the proper legal or tax advisors be consulted as the situation warrants. Um, so today we're going to take a look at some comparisons uh, between Sun Life and some of our top competitors for what I would say are the most, some of the most important insurance products that you have access to uh, because they are the products that will make the most impact for families uh, if a claim ever occurs. So products we're going to talk about today make a world of difference for grieving families or families going through extremely difficult situations in their lives. And they can potentially mean the difference between severe financial difficulties or the ability to get through some of these difficult times with significantly less stress, uh, definitely, especially from a financial perspective. And uh, that can certainly also carry through to make these events in our lives less stressful overall, if we have the proper coverage in place. Let's get going. So today our focus is going to be on both life insurance and health insurance, and more specifically on term life insurance and critical illness insurance. So we're going to take a look at some of the sweet spots for each of these two products at Sun Life and how we stack up against some of our competitors and top competitors in both of those product categories. And we're also going to review some strategies that work well with these two products. So as I mentioned during the last session, I was here uh, for a session with you uh, last month, and I mentioned that uh, it was a session on universal life and sun permanent life last month. And uh, a few years back, I was uh, an advisor myself uh, with daily choices to make about which insurer and which product was the best one uh, for one situation or another. And something that always mattered to me a lot was providing clients with solutions that were backed by strong companies that I feel confident would be there for the duration that would have the integrity to stand behind their promises. So I'm proud to be with Sun Life today and, and being number one in the industry for life insurance and critical illness sales combined in 2022, uh, Sun Life can certainly be considered to be a strong company. So 2022 was a year that saw us strengthen our position uh, as number two in the critical illness market. And we continue our run as number one in the uh, life insurance sales now at 10 quarters in a row by the end of 2022. Uh, so this is something we're very proud of, and it speaks to the strength of our products, certainly, and our company as a whole as well, I believe, because certainly a big part of that success has been fueled by 
our number one position in par whole life. And uh, for the last nine quarters in a row, we've been number one there, uh, which is in large part due to the strength and stability of our par fund. Um, now, today's not about par, uh, but that strength and stability that you know we exemplify through our par fund, I think carries through to all the products on our shelf, carries through even more importantly to our approach that everyone at Sun Life takes to putting clients first in everything we do. And uh, in the, the work that all the teams in product, pricing, new business, under writing and enforced service, uh, the way we approach our work is really to put the client first. And I think that really comes through in the strength that, uh, that we have as results. So, all right, let's get things started by taking a look at some of the sweet spots for Sun Life for term life insurance first. So here are some of the highlights and reasons why you should keep us in mind when term life insurance is the best product to satisfy a client's needs. Uh, we really strive to be at our most competitive in the high net worth space, as you might already know. And uh, for term insurance, we feel that is at the $2 million of face amount or more. Um, we offer four term lengths from T10 to T30, and we strive to offer competitive pricing, uh, especially relative to our top competitors in the term uh, space. Uh, so our term products are fully convertible to any of the permanent products we currently sell. And we also offer partial conversions, of course, uh, with the option to carry some or all of the remaining portion to a new term rider. We also offer an option for cases um, Excuse me, sorry. Uh, we also offer an option uh, for case with face amount of 5 million or more uh, to allow for an original age conversion uh, to par products within the first six years of the term policy. And we offer some very useful optional benefits such as the partner protection benefit and the uh, business value protection benefit as well. So uh, not sure if all of you are familiar with these two benefits. The, the first one, the partner protection benefit allows business partners to purchase additional insurance without providing medical evidence upon the death of one of the insured business partners. And this is available on term policies that are a multi-life policy with a minimum of three single lives being insured. And then the business value protection benefit is one that allows owners to purchase additional insurance uh, as their business grows without having to provide medical evidence. So they're both great add-ons to consider for business owner clients. And as far as pricing, we're not going to be the best everywhere. Uh, there's no insurer that can make that claim, especially not on price and especially not in the term market. Uh, even if they could, they certainly would be short-lived uh, because in the term industry, as you all know, price change all the time. Uh, if you do price yourself to be the best, it's not usually for very long before someone else has outmaneuvered you in that pricing. So how are insurers supposed to stay competitive and differentiate themselves in an industry full of competitors constantly looking to be priced better than everyone else? Well, having sweet spots in certain demographics like our 2 million and over face amount uh, is a good start, uh, marking your territory, so to speak. But again, that could leave you in a position where somebody else is going to come and outprice you uh, at some point. Uh, another way, which uh, is a perhaps a more sustainable way of doing it, is to have unique and innovative products and features uh, that's less easy for competitors to copy or surpass. Um, so there's other ways as well, like ease of doing business uh, and having high thresholds and underwriting requirements for fluids can certainly help make business easier to do with a company and, and make it you know, more likely that you'll do business with them. So at Sun Life, we do our best to provide you with some of these advantages, uh, knowing that the important role that some of these things play in your day to day and, uh, and that some of these factors outside of pricing might help make it easier for you to do business and might tip the scales and making us your carrier of choice, even when somebody else has us outpriced. Um, so when it comes to choosing a term product, other than price, what sorts of things matter? Uh, how do we move away from the perception that the lowest possible premium is the most important feature for term? Because uh, it is typically how it's regarded. Um, how can we redefine term as a simple introductory policy packed with flexibility and long-term value for our clients? What if clients could feel like term insurance is not just a necessary expense that is likely unlikely to result in a claim due to its short-term nature, uh, where they essentially lose all the premiums that they've paid. Uh, one idea I discussed during last month's section on Sun Permanent Life can easily be applied to conversations you're having with clients about term insurance as well. Um, so this is an idea that a client with a term need could purchase a small Sun Permanent Life policy, uh, which is either going to be a 10, 15, or 20 pay policy with limited payment period, uh, with as little as 25,000 of permanent coverage on that policy. And then on that permanent policy, adding on a large term rider um, that's as large as the client needs it to be. 
But then also adding on, this is where the key comes in, is to do both of those parts and then ask, also add on the return of premium on death optional benefit that's available on the Sun Permanent Life product. So by doing that, the result is that your clients won't lose any of the premiums they paid for their term insurance, right? So it becomes uh, a term insurance solution that really encompasses a small portion of permanent product uh, of permanent coverage at 25,000, say as a minimum, and also incorporates a return of premium on death, which adds any premiums paid in the policy, whether it was for the base portion or for the term rider or for the return of premium on death rider itself, all those premiums end up getting returned to the beneficiary upon death. So it's really like getting all your premiums back for your term coverage, even if the term coverage has ended or been canceled by the time that the death uh, occurs and a claim occurs. Excuse me. So let's take a closer look at uh, two of the key product features of Sun Term. Uh, first, there's the term to term conversion window, which was recently expanded to seven years. And this allows both T10 and T15 policies to be converted into either a T20 or T30 policy during the first seven years of the shorter duration term policy. So the T10 or the T15 during the first seven years can be converted to a longer term policy. And that can be done without underwriting. Second, there's the partial conversion with term carryover. So when clients request a partial conversion of their existing term policy to permanent coverage, uh, they can carry over up to three times the base amount of the new policy as a term rider with the same term duration or longer than the original term policy being converted. This means that any term duration could be available if the for the new rider if the original term was a T10. But if the original term was a T20, then the new rider could only be a T20 or T30. But wait, there's more. We've enhanced our term carryover feature on partial conversions to permanent coverage. If the original term is a T10 or a T15, and it's still within that seven year term to term conversion window, instead of being limited to three times the base as the amount of the term rider on the new policy, we'll allow clients to convert the remaining portion of the term as a ter uh, of the term to a new term rider on the on the new policy, no matter how large it is, no matter how much larger it is than the base, as long as that new term rider is a T20 or T30 uh, rider. So it kind of works like the term to term conversion where a T10 or T15 can be converted to a T20 or T30. Uh, but you can do it as a partial conversion where you're now wrapping uh, basically the, the rest of that uh, term rider as a new rider on the policy, effectively resetting your, your term coverage onto the new policy as a rider uh, for up to the, the total amount that was not converted into permanent. Uh, so just like it's shown in the example on the slide, a $1 million T10 could be converted to a $50,000 uh, Sun Permanent Life policy and then add a 950000 T20 rider or a $50,000 Sun Par Protector 2, for example, and a 950,000 T20 rider, or a 100,000 Sun Universal Life policy uh, and a $900,000 T20 rider. So just to give you some examples of how that could work. All right, so we're going to switch gears now and get into looking at some of the head-to-head -head comparisons that I mentioned that we would do with some of our top competitors in the term space. So as mentioned earlier, we really focus on being competitive in the $2 million and over face amount uh, for, for terms. So that's where we're going to focus here in these head-to-head -head comparisons for term is going to be $2, millions, uh, 2 million of face amount or more. So as you can see here, when we look at a comparison to Canada Life, and I know it's uh, maybe a bit small, hopefully you have a big screen, you can see these numbers, uh, but even without necessarily focusing on the individual numbers, which you can see is uh, the color coding that we've done on here on the two columns on the right for each of these squares uh, is determining you know, who's ahead, basically, who's, who's priced better. And uh, so of course we've made it that you know, the color green represents uh, being priced uh, more advantageously and being red uh, means that our competitor is priced more advantageously. Uh, so basically, you know, when it comes to Canada Life, we have uh, some more substantial differences in T10, T30, where we are uh, priced uh, in a more uh, favorable manner than they are. And then for T20, you can still see that it's all green there. So we are still ahead, but the differences uh, tend to be slightly less. Uh, and then when we look at T15, we can see that we are priced fairly similarly. There's not some uh, too many big differences there, but there is 
Uh, a difference where we are uh, priced a little bit better when it comes to younger insureds, uh, from ranging from anyone uh, under 40. And, uh, and then Canada Life kind of has the advantage between 40 and 65. So that's kind of the head-to-head -head comparison and some uh, showing you some of the sweet spots where we are in comparison to Canada Life. Next, we're going to take a look at Manulife. And um, so when it comes to Manulife, we're only showing comparisons here for two products, our Term 10 and Term 20, uh, since these are the only term durations that we have in common with Manulife. And uh, there's a trend you'll notice here first that uh, we are priced more competitively than Manulife in every single instance that I'm showing you here. Um, now, one caveat to that is that uh, the prices shown by Manulife here do not include their vitality program. So there's no discount applied to their premiums here. Um, we didn't apply discount discount because, uh, you know, even if clients do decide to uh, to obtain their policy with Vitality uh, as part of it, uh, that Vitality discount is not guaranteed by any means. It could be gone as early as the second year uh, of the policy. So we prefer to really compare more apples to apples of, of, you know, if a client doesn't decide to participate in the Vitality program, uh, what really they can expect in terms of the comparison of premiums they will get on their term policy with us compared to Manulife. Um, so what you can see here is that in addition to you know being uh, better, having a, a more competitive price than Manulife across the board, uh, there are some places where it's fairly close. So especially in the later ages, uh, over fifty, I would say, um, is where we kind of tend to be very, very close in price. Uh, but then under fifty is really where we have a, a pretty clear advantage, especially uh, on term ten, um, and as well for term twenty for females uh, for the two million uh, face amounts and, and more. Uh, it's just really on term 20 for males uh, that were just very tight all the way through at, at every age pretty well. And then finally, uh, the last uh, competitor we're going to take a look at a heads up comparison with is IA. Uh, so they are the leader in the term sales uh, industry. And uh, we're comparing here at uh, some comparisons at 2 million and some comparisons at 5 million, as IA has a uh, band for premiums at the 5 million mark as well. So ours does not change uh, whether you have 2 million or 5 million, but we want to show the, uh, the difference in how competitive we remain with them, uh, whether it's at 2 million or or at the 5 million band that exists at IA. Um, so if we look first on the left-hand side at both uh, T10s and T20s, and we've got one example for males, one example for female non-smokers here, um, can see that uh, when it comes to that 2 million mark, when we're both at our 2 million band of pricing, uh, it's similar in terms uh, compared to uh, what we saw at Manulife where the later ages were priced very, very similarly. You can see that the difference in premium is very tiny, uh, but especially on the T10 side, you can see that difference in the earlier ages prior to 50 is quite significant. Uh, so that's definitely one of our sweet spots in comparison to IA there. And then um, what's really interesting is when we look at the right hand, right hand side of the, the screen and we look now at IA's improved pricing at the $5 million band, um, you know, the differences when we look at first at the bottom on the T20s, the differences are still all quite small. I mean, we they've made up a, a little bit of ground in the younger ages, but the differences are are still quite small there. We can say that we're very competitively priced with them, even though we're using their $5 million band and our $2 million band. And then when we look at the T10, again, you know, they would have only gained some ground by getting their better pricing of the $5 million band, but it really hasn't changed that much. They're still uh, 50 and over. We're still very, very tight in pricing with them. And prior to 50, we're still quite a ways ahead of them. So they're their pricing band improvement at five million doesn't really uh, make much of an in, uh, make much of a dent in where the advantages lie in, in this comparison. So it's interesting to see that uh, without having a five million dollar band price, uh, we're still very competitive because of how well we've priced our product at the two million and over uh, band that we have. So let's turn our attention now to a strategy that you can use for term life insurance uh, called the mortgage protection strategy. This is likely nothing you haven't heard before, but it's such an essential conversation to have with clients who are embarking in a new mortgage because far too many are still just signing up for the mortgage protection that's offered by their bank because it's made out to be very easy and pain-free and it's offered, you know, just as they're closing their mortgage usually and asked to just, uh, you know, sign here and, and here you can have the keys to your new home, that kind of approach where, you know, it's made to be pain-free, but, you know, the, we all know the, the pain might come later uh, by getting that type of mortgage coverage versus uh, an individual life insurance term policy. 
So many people feel it's a good idea to cover their mortgage with some inexpensive life insurance coverage like term. Uh, so that in case something unexpected were to occur, the mortgage would not be a burden for their loved ones in a situation where household income is now reduced. But the insurance products being sold by lenders as mortgage insurance have some really big downfalls. And I just want to highlight a couple here on this slide. The first being the underwriting at time of claim. Uh, this is typical in the mortgage insurance industry. And it means that you know there's a few questions that may be asked uh, when the insurance is first being taken, but there's really not a, a real underwriting uh, going on at, uh, at the time that the insurance is being taken. And that means that once the insured passes away, that's when the lender will attempt to determine if they were healthy enough, or I say the lender, but typically it might be the, the insurance company that's backing the protection. Uh, the lender will attempt to determine if they were healthy enough to be covered when they first applied for the coverage. And that's obviously something that can go terribly wrong because uh, for the beneficiaries trying to claim on this, because trying to prove that somebody was healthy enough once they're no longer around is a little bit difficult. Uh, mortgages, secondly, tend to get paid down over time. So the amount of coverage provided by these products is also reduced as time goes on. But due to rates rising based on attained age as the insured uh, under the coverage gets older, um, even though the coverage is reducing, the premiums tend to remain fairly stable. Uh, sometimes we even see them increasing over time a little bit. But that coverage is decreasing with the amount of the mortgage being decreased. And if the mortgage, you know, as often happens, people remortgage and put more money back on to maybe make improvements to their home, um, they end up, you know, their rates keep going up because they are getting older and their mortgage is not necessarily going down that quickly. Uh, so they end up paying something more than they would have and if they had just obtained level coverage on term insurance policy that they could have obtained through a company like Sun Life. And when it comes to offering clients a good alternative to traditional mortgage insurance, there's plenty of reasons why you should encourage clients to consider getting that coverage from Sun Life. Um, you know, the, some of the main advantages of, of having your own insurance uh, that, uh, that you obtained from Sun Life would be that the client owns the policy, the rates are very competitive, there's uh, competitive and preferred underwriting offered. There's uh, convertibility privileges that we've talked about, uh, and it can cover all their insurance needs. It doesn't just cover the mortgage, and uh, it's customizable as well. So there's different term lengths, and there's optional benefits, and there's you no know, ways to change from one term length to another. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of advantages to looking at getting your own insurance coverage rather than going through the lender coverage. And uh, yeah, so I just want to take a, a couple minutes here. I'm near the end of, uh, of my piece on term life insurance. Uh, so before we get to the kind of midway point of the presentation here, I just want to point out a couple quick things. Uh, here's a feature that, might, that you'll find available uh, that we offer within our illustration software. It's called a quick compare table. And that's found in the illustration summary part of our software, which you can see in the bottom left of your screen here. And this shows a quick compare of the premiums payable for the same coverage under different term durations that are available. So in addition to showing this in the software, if you click on the print quick compare button at the very bottom of that screen on the left, um, this will bring up the illustration. Uh, this will bring up, sorry, the, uh, the a PDF report of the premium comparison, like the one shown on the right hand side. And uh, this can be a really useful way to show a client uh, and, and help them determine which term duration is the best one for them based on the difference in price. Uh, pretty nice to see it all summarized in one place. And uh, it, it includes renewal premiums as well, which is really interesting because then that helps you highlight perhaps the benefit of considering a T10 with renewal protection. As you can see here, for only a very small increase going from term 10 to term 10 with renewal protection as the initial premium, only a difference of dollar $1.80, um, that 10th anniversary or you know at the end of 10 years, that renewal, uh, as we know for term insurance can jump up quite a bit, but you see that that jump is really much more manageable on a term 10 with renewal protection. So that's a, a real advantage of this tool of the premium comparison is to be able to show that. And some clients may be re really interested in, uh, in obtaining you know, the term 10 with renewal protection as a result of being able to see it side by side here. And you know, for most clients, you may think that they're going to get to the 10th anniversary and not going to renew and they're going to cancel, maybe go back to market and, and get another policy if they need coverage still. Uh, but it's really hard to tell who's going to be the clients whose health is going to deteriorate during that next 10 years. Um, so for those clients that who, who aren't able to go back to market to get a new policy, uh, having that lower renewal cost might be something they'll really appreciate. 
And uh, yeah, we have some really great marketing support materials. I uh, just want to show three of them right here that, uh, that can be really useful. Uh, we have a top five reasons for sun term insurance. Uh, we have a sun term client guide and another piece called shedding light on life insurance, which uh, gives clients an understanding of the different types of life insurance that we offer. A couple more quick things uh, before I turn things back over here. I know I'm uh, getting close to the halfway point. Um, so as mentioned at the start of the session today, I said there were other factors that might come into play when you choose which insurer to do business with. Uh, so one of these factors that I know as a former advisor myself uh, is of great importance is new business turnaround times. So we see some new business turnaround times that are current for us right now on the left-hand side of the screen. And these I'd say are pretty reasonable. I know that uh, some companies uh, end up going into periods where their turnaround times are uh, become quite, uh, quite long. And, and I think we do a great job of managing those and keeping those reasonable. And then on the right hand side of the slide, you'll see uh, my last plug for today, uh, basically is the uh, the Sun E app, uh, which is uh, our great uh, tool that we have for for our applications online, uh, which you know I know we're in, improving all the time. We're cons consistently making improvements to this. Uh, you know we've taken a real continuous improvement approach with it, and we've been able to keep improving it thanks to the feedback from many advisors uh, that keep telling us, you know, uh, suggesting ways that we can improve it, and we we truly listen and, and make those changes uh, as we uh, as we go forward with this uh, with this tool. And uh, finally, before one more thing, uh, before we uh, get to see if you have any questions on what I've been talking about, um, as, as mentioned earlier, we know that uh, having competitive underwriting requirements can play an important role in the insurer you choose for your clients. So to that end, we have some of the best thresholds in the industry, making it easy for your clients to apply and making the process smoother for you. Uh, so we have uh, blood vitals and your analysis tests that are not required for clients age 60 or under who are applying for a million dollars or less for all life insurance products, which means no more scheduling appointments and waiting for test results for these clients. And uh, we also have accelerated underwriting, underwriting guidelines, which makes it easier for clients to obtain the coverage they need with fewer requirements, um, you know, for amounts of coverage up to $5 million for clients age 18 to 40, up to 3 million for 41 to 50, and up to $1 million for clients that are 51 to 60. And one last slide, I promise. This is the very last one I have. Uh, that when it comes to no fluid underwriting, we're only one of three insurers in the industry who are offering up to $5 million in coverage that can qualify for accelerated underwriting alongside Candlelife and Manulife. Uh, all other competitors, their limits are lower than this. Uh, so we really are kind of the uh, in, in the leader pack when it comes to no fluid underwriting. So I believe we are at the point when yes. I will stop sharing. And Thank you see. so much, Frank. Um, if you don't mind saying on just five minutes, Alex, sorry, just uh, I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, but Frank, my two key takeaways uh, not are not just that we're competitive on price, but you mentioned original age conversion. That is really awesome. I've seen that taking an uptick lately in the last quarter, um, especially when you convert back to your PAR policy, you get all the years of dividend that are owed to you. Um, especially when a client are temporarily in a cash crunch because of markets or interest rates, they can get a term and then original age converted back, which is really powerful. Our competitors had it. We always want it. And finally, we have it. So it's really awesome. Um, and another thing is term to term conversion. That term to term window is really awesome. Yeah, to convert a T10, a T15 to a longer term, that is really nice. Um, so I definitely encourage everyone to contact your local wholesaler. If you're in GTA, that's me. And I'll be happy to share all these information with you. Um, and another one Q and quick Q&A, Frank, um, no medical is required when converting a T10 and a term to term window, right? To a longer term. Right. A T10 or T15 can be switched. So you can't switch from a T10 to T15, but you can switch a T10 or T15 to T20 or T30. And when you do that in the term to term conversion window, which is now seven years, there's no underwriting required. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. And that was the only q and I had. Um, now turning the mic to Alex, but Frank, please come back at the end for the final Q&A section of it. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, um, my next guest is Alex. He is also our, one of my pro our product managers. Um, Alex has been with Sunlight for over 16 years. Um, Alex is someone who really, really knows behind what's happening behind the scenes. 
uh, because he's had been an administrator for Inforce. He did. Uh, he was one, part of our wealth business as well. And uh, he, before he uh, became the product manager, he was with New Business. So Inforce Wealth, New Business, and now Product. I think there's nothing they can hide from Alex at this point. Um, so Alex, I'll turn the mic to you. Thank you, Yusu, and thank you, Frank. That was uh, great learning there on the term market. I know uh, I always enjoy hearing Frank speak and speak on uh, term, especially. Um, it's a great product and one that I, I highly recommend to anyone. Uh, so now here we are, though, and I'm going to recommend this product as well, Sun CII to all of you. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about the sweet spots of our Sun CII product. Get right into it. So much like term, the reason to consider Sun CII is because there are many costs associated with critical illnesses, not just those related to an illness and the, the loss of income, but the cost of, of getting yourself back to fighting shape, getting yourself back into the world. And some of those costs can be bringing in extra help at home and paying for those medical treatments. I have an uncle who recently um, took some money out of a claim that he had for Sun CII, or, well, with CII, Sun CII. And, um, and while waiting for care here in Canada, things got a little worse. So ended up going to the United States and helping himself to um, pay for care there. And while that is an expensive uh, proposition, it certainly served him well and uh, still recovering at home, but in uh, much better shape than he would have been here. The income loss during this time while fighting a critical illness can be replaced by having a Sun CII where we will provide the client a benefit for the amount of that coverage all at once, a single lump sum benefit. Now let's look a little bit at the details of the plan. So similar to a lot of the industry, we offer 26 critical illnesses for full payout. Now I will say uh, that is the top in the industry. Uh, no one offers greater than 26 full payout illnesses. There are some companies, I won't call them out specifically, that offer fewer than 26. Um, with the option to add additional illnesses on one-off basis. We also offer eight generous partial payouts for non-life-threatening illnesses. And for coverage, our limits are up to 3 million for adults and a million for children. Now, I'm gonna make a quick plug here for our child policies. These child plans that we offer with this top in the market coverage of a million dollars, also offer advanced ROP options that are really great. And if you get an opportunity to take a, a focused look at those and you have children in your um, client, client block that might be eligible for a plan like this and might suit this, I really think it's a great idea to take a look at our Sun CII child plans. Um, and I'd be happy to speak to anybody on that if they decide they wanna reach out to me at a later time and uh, discuss the child options. With our Sun CII plans, we now offer what I think to be the greatest ROP options in the industry. Certainly our graded ROPC is the earliest payout of all the graded options in the industry. We pay out earlier at three years now. You can start getting your ROPC returned to you uh, if you decide to terminate your plan. There are no survival periods on all non-cardiovascular -cardio conditions, and we offer the fastest pay option for our T100 and T15 with 10 and 15 year pay options, a 10 year uh, pay option on the T100, the fastest in the industry there. Some more sweet spots that we offer the option to convert to a long-term care insurance. Now, many of you may not know this, but Sun Life now is the only uh, insurer in Canada that offers a long-term care insurance coverage. And ours is called the Sun Retirement Health Assist Plan. And if you have questions on that, obviously feel free to reach out to us. That plan can be bought on its own, or alternatively, you can convert 
a portion of your son CII coverage between the ages of 60 and 65 to that son RHA policy, doing so without any underwriting required. We also, as I mentioned earlier, have great unique benefits for children. Uh, the ROP options, which I think are really the best in the, in the uh, industry for ch children, which offers 75% of the returnable premium amount uh, after 15 years or age 25, whichever is later. And yet you still get to keep that plan, which I think is really, really special. Uh, we also offer their own policies. So there's no need to reapply or even do a conversion at a later time. And of course we have owner waiver options where uh, if you have a parent or guardian paying for your child's policy, they can have those premiums waived in the event of their own illness, which is, I think, a really uh, important thing since obviously kids don't pay for their own insurance, although we maybe want them to. We do make it easy to apply for Sun CII coverage. It is built into the Sun eApp. Now, I think I saw Frank earlier speaking to a number of 65% of our applications are done through the eApp. It is a really strong application process. It reduces our underwriting requirements, it speeds up our processes, and it really is a, uh, a strength of sun life that is constantly being improved thanks to the feedback from advisors and others. We do also offer uh, Teladoc Medical Experts, which is a uh, company that works with Sun Life to provide support to clients at, in times of need for their Sun CII claims. It allows them to get second, second medical opinions, support in the form of advice and, and, uh, and family uh, support as well in the event that a family member develops critical illness. And we have a Canadian health insurance tax guide, which allows you as advisors to uh, navigate issues unique to Canadian health insurance taxation in the, in the country. We were one of the first companies in Canada to release critical illness insurance in its current form. Uh, so I believe it was 1997 when we had our first critical illness product standalone. And since that time, we've developed and remained a leader in the market. But let's talk a little bit about our rates. Now, there are five main competitors in this industry. Uh, making up greater than 80% of the market. So ourselves included Desjardins, a second uh, competitor, IA, Manulife, and Canada Life. So right off the top, let's talk a little bit about Desjardins and a little bit about our rate comparison with them. Now Desjardins, a great competitor of Sun Life because they also offer a really strong high net worth and business product. The difference between ours and theirs, ours is better priced. Uh, we recently made a change to our product in October of 2021 to specifically compete in spaces where our business owners and our higher net worth clients would see the greatest benefit. Now, not specifically targeting Desjardins or IA or any other um, competitor, but with the concept of working with our clients who have businesses and their higher net worth clients. And in doing so, we reduce some of our costs to the ROPC attachment and reduce some of our base rates at higher bands as well. In doing so, we've made ourselves more competitive and you can see from these tables here that in almost every field, Sun Life is the more competitive of Desjardins and Sun Life. Now, that's not always going to be the case. Rates change throughout the market. However, as of right now, these rates are correct. And they will show you that on top of providing great rates, such as the ones that you see here, we also provide uh, a great product. And that ROPC 15 is the graded version, which I did explain earlier can pay out at year three earlier than any other graded ROPC in the market. Now, when looking at the largest competitor in the market, so IA, 
um, who does have the largest market share, you can see here again that we do have a price advantage when looking at the T75 with an ROPD and ROPC15 uh, in, in all prices from 100,000 to a million. Now, the reason that we pull these prices, just so I'm clear at a greater level, is that these are the prices for the products that we are most likely to sell. ROPD and ROPC15 are attachments which our own business has shown are almost always included in the purchases of our T75 plan, which is our most popular in uh, our company. That may not be the case for all companies, but that is where we see our greatest purchases. And I think that that's where we offer our greatest advantage is that our prices are best there, our product is best there. So with other companies, you may be able to uh, see a more competitive price and say a T10 or a T100. But for ourselves, our greatest benefit, our greatest asset here is in this T75 market, higher bands with the ROPD and the ROPC15. And I'll speak to a little bit why we, we target that, uh, those attachments and those bands in a little bit. With Canada Life, again, you can see for the most part, our rates are number one across uh, all bands, 100, 250,000, 500,000, and a million. Obviously at uh, the million dollar band, we have some competitiveness there with, uh, with Canada Life, but it is very uh, narrow, those, those margins there. So nothing I think that would require that we be too, um, too concerned of its price when we offer what I consider to be a better product. And one surprising perhaps to many people, what they might see here is that our rates don't necessarily beat those of Manulife. Now, the reason that they don't beat those of Manulife is that Manulife offers a product with only 24 illnesses. So for those of you out there um, wondering why is it that we aren't able to beat the Manulife product and price. Part of the reason is, is that we simply don't um, cover as few illnesses as they do. Another reason is, is that Manulife has not repriced their product since 2015. And they offer fewer, uh, less value in terms of the attachments they offer as well. So their ROPC is not graded. Their ROPD has uh, greater restrictions. And, and just in general, their product um, although I'm sure at some point they will uh, update it, it doesn't have the, the features of some of our uh, competitors and ourselves as well. Sun Life, Canada Life, and Desjardins. So we talked a little bit earlier about no fluid underwriting. So again, no fluid underwriting in the CI world is a priority for some many of our clients. So I want to speak to you a little bit about how the three of us, Sun, Canada, and Desjardins, all offer no fluid underwriting up to age 40, up to 250,000, and up to age 50 for up to 100,000 at face amount. So a, a real benefit there in that we can go quicker through the e-app, through a tele. It, it's, it's easier than making those appointments. Now, some of the extra support and extra value that comes from Sun Life, high net worth and uh, business owner material for Sun CII comes from our tax solutions. So I talked a little bit about the Canadian insurance, health insurance tax guide. I also wanna talk a little bit about our industry leading tools and concepts with Sun CII. So we do offer uh, a lot of information on shared ownership, on asset protection, on key person protection, key person insurance, mortgage and protection insurance, and family protection solutions. Specifically, uh, I think our greatest value comes in our shared ownership CII uh, portfolio. We have great literature as well as the information on our Canadian Health Insurance Tax Guide that allows clients that allows clients and advisors to really get a good sense of where the benefits are for them in terms of 
uh, shared ownership and, and how to take advantage of the tax uh, regulations that are in our industry and are in our country related to CII so that they are best for business uh, in, in, in Canada. So specifically speaking, we have our shared ownership, critical ownership insurance uh, marketing piece, as well as the tax guide, as I mentioned. We also offer a sample agreement for shared ownership. For those of you who uh, maybe aren't quite familiar with how to write or what one must look like in order to, uh, to have a shared ownership agreement. And what those are, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, are agreements between company owners and their uh, the individual who is being insured. So in, for the most part, it's the company and the company owner. And they're an arrangement in which a company owner will receive the ROP C15 benefit if the client, if the company cancels the policy, whereas if the company, uh, pardon me, if the insured res receives or uh, unfortunately is afflicted with a critical illness, they then will have a payout made to the company and that benefit benefits the company in that it is a tax-free payout to the company. So here we are speaking a little more to that, how that works. So if the employee is diagnosed with a covered illness, the business receives the tax-free benefit to help sustain operations. If the employee is not diagnosed with a covered illness and they and the business agree to the canceling the coverage, then the employee receives the returnable amount. Now, I spoke earlier about why we looked at the T75 pricing and that's the reason we look at the T75 pricing is because this is where our greatest value comes for these shared ownership policies. Most people don't continue working past age 75. And as they do not continue past age 75, it makes sense for the policies to be terminated at that point and for the employee to become the beneficiary of the ROP benefit. Now, are there risks to this? Of course, the CRA can always introduce new legislation which would change how this strategy would be allowed to work going uh, forward. And there's an anti-impoverishment risk, which is that you cannot impoverish a company in favor of the shareholder. So that is to say, you can't just make the company pay for all of it and then have the ROP benefit go to the owner of that uh, company. So the individual in that situation. And that's why when you do make a, a uh, set up like a shared ownership or, or a, agreement, you do have to have it so that the employee pays for at least a portion of the plan while the other portion is paid for by the company. We do offer a few tools to determine the need and positioning for product solutions. So if you have your phones with you, you can use them to view some of the literature that we have available with respect to these options. And the next slide I want to speak to is the asset protection. So asset protection offers clients the opportunity to protect those things like their companies when they need to. Now, we offer some different ideas and different calculators to show you exactly where the benefits are for all of these different tools. Uh, for those of you who have access to our Sun Life Advisor site, I encourage you to access it and go in there and play with these tools so that you can get a sense of how our business, our business focus can be uh, used to help promote our business in the industry. Last slide here, I just wanna to speak to a little bit our marketing materials that are currently available on our marketing shelf. The 10 things you need to know about Sun Life speaks to our strengths, much like our Sweet Spots presentation here today. Our product at a glance is quick and easy uh, look at our adult and child CII plans. The Sun CII client guide and advisor guide are meant to provide a more detailed support for our clients and advisors when they have questions or if they have a need to look more deeply into the illness definitions. I wanna thank everybody for joining me today.
And I'll pass this back over to you, Sue. Thank you, Yusu. Thank you so much, Alex. Um, great few t- takeaways. First of all, you mentioned that T75. I personally, it's one of my favorite uh, setup for our product. That's awesome. And, um, and thank you for mentioning that also we are one of the rare carriers that has a independent, like a standalone child CI policy. That's really awesome to have. And, and it's 30 days, right? As soon as a child is born, the waiting time is 30 days, if I'm that's not mistaken. Correct. Yeah, 30 days. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So this, it's, it's a great gift <laughs> from family members, grandparents to, to ensure the child. Um, it's, it's really, these are my two key takeaways. I know there's a hot topic on shared ownership <laughs> happening. Um, so, uh, uh, and I'll ask you th- this question from the Q&A, which is good. Um, uh, there's uh, someone who asked, why do you think the other insurance companies won't support shared ownership concept? Um, in the sense that, do we support it? Do we don't? Or is it just we illustrated, we tell the risk? What is your angle on it? Yeah, it's a good question, Yusu. Um, some, some companies do offer some support to the shared ownership concept. Uh, none as great as Sun Life or as Desjardins, I, you know, give them credit for what they do. Um, part of the reason is, is that there is no, no real clarity from the CRA on it. Um, another part is, however, that it may not be a focus of their, their company's uh, product uh, business. We, we want to focus on that market and we see a lot of value in it. And it's good for our clients in that market as well. Thank you, Alex. And yes, please reach out to your local wholesaler um, if you'd like to um, have a shot at our CI um, shared ownership illustration. We do have a simplified version that every advisor can access online, uh, but we also have a detailed version that um, wholesalers can help you run as well. Um, and um, I'm just going through the Q&A. If you have any Q&A for either Alex or Frank, please um, type them in the Q&A box and I'm monitoring them right now. Um, I personally have a question back to you, Frank. Um, just one. Um, we and this is a tough one. <laughs> We've taken a position to be a price competitive. Uh, uh, you said above two million uh, face for term for our sun term. Um, but even below two million face, is there any chance to price match? Um, and is there any limit? Do we support price match? Can you kind of comment on that? Um, I, well, I think you, you might know as well as I would, um, but, uh, I, as, as far as I know, I, I, I'm not aware of, of price matching on term, but am I, th- th- is that something you're aware of you, Sue, from trying to, with cases, trying to, to get a price match? Have you had any success? Cause I, I don't necessarily see the request come in for, for um, a price match, but, um, I, to my knowledge, we don't on, I know we do that on, on UL certainly, mm-hmm. uh, but in term, I'm, I don't think that we do unless, unless you've had success getting the price match done on term, but not that I'm aware of. Yeah, me too. I have to double check. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a tough question. Yeah, it is. I mean, either I have to double check yeah. on our price match uh, uh, policies. Uh, on it term, I mean, year to year too, like it's, it's not obvious. Yeah, on term, I don't think we do. Uh, I thought maybe you were you were asking me because you knew that we did or okay, something. No, but, uh, anyway, no as, as far as I know, I don't think we do on term. I know that, uh, like I said, we we are very competitive at the two million above mark. Um, I know that below that, um, you know, we don't necessarily focus on uh, the market uh, below that threshold as much. Although we certainly do stu- still do want to be competitive, and and we are competitive in certain cells and certain parts of the you know certain certain insured certain ages certain face amounts but um it's it's a market that becomes a lot more competitive like everybody's pricing to try to get the you know there we saw in 2022 and maybe even the the end of 2021 going to 2022 lots of companies repricing and a lot of companies were focused on those lower face amounts whereas not a lot were necessarily repricing at the higher end where we're focused um so we did see a lot of companies coming in you know just kind of undercutting the lowest price by a tiny little bit to become number one on life guide 
Um, so, you know, I don't think we're, there, there's some situations where we're not necessarily priced competitively in those lower face amounts, but there are others where we are, where we're not far too far from number one, uh, are certainly still fairly competitive. Um, and I think some of the other advantages I spoke about earlier really, uh, you know, bring some value to, to what we offer as a, as a term provider. And probably most of all, the idea I mentioned earlier about, uh, you know, taking a, a client with a term need and taking the who's got the best price question, kind of removing that from the conversation and going into a conversation about the fact that with our product, clients can get themselves, you know, kind of like that uh, that small amount of permanent coverage for funeral funeral costs that will be there in the long run, uh, that twenty five thousand kind of mark for um, for the the permanent coverage piece, but then adding on a big term rider and ensuring that all the premiums get paid for the for the term coverage end up going back to the beneficiary as part of the tax free death benefit. So that really turns a conversation on on its head. I think when it comes to term, I don't think there's any term conversation that I was ever able to have with a client in the past that really was able to go in that direction and be you know turned into well, what if all those premiums that you're going to pay for term? What if we could make sure that those premiums all get back to your beneficiary? Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, we're we're right on time, Fred. Back to you. Yeah, no, that was perfect, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, that was a really great session with some really key information on uh, on a number of your products there. I think there's a lot of unique uh, features um, that that adds a lot of value um, and not just looking at price. Um, and that's where really, you know, our, our financial advisors can shine in this space. Um, before everyone leaves, I just wanted to remind you of a couple of things. So number one, Quebec advisors, you should see a poll on your screen right now. Don't forget to f- complete that poll for you to earn your CE credits. For all other advisors across the country, please, uh, this is a a quick reminder, we have our spring education days coming up in April. They run from April 13th to April 26th. If you haven't already and you're able to attend, please look at registering uh, as spots are starting to fill up quickly. And we have some amazing sessions for you as well. On that note, a full bulletin is going to be released today uh, with the agenda items and the topics that are gonna be presented from each carrier. Hoping to see everybody uh, out at your uh, at your relative spots. Yusu, Alex, Frank, thank you so much for today's session. Again, you guys did an excellent job. There's a lot of great questions in the chat. Uh, hoping that uh, there's some cases that are going to develop uh, outside of this. So um, thanks, guys, again for for uh, for coming in today and for all of our advisors. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks all.